cash stuffing for you guys. This is a mini one because it's only stuffing $273. Um, and it's so small. It's a smaller amount just because this is some of the money that my husband sends me every week and some of the money that I earn when I do inspections for my family business. Um, the other portion of it, like that's why I said some, this is not all of those two things combined. Um, the others went towards bills that stay in my bank account or gas that stays in my bank account or I already spent some of it on groceries this past week. So um, I'm a little bit late on this stuffing, but that's okay. So um, like I said, it's 273, so 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140. I think I already messed up. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 255, 260, 265, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 1, 2, 3. So 273. I'm definitely doing this on my bed because this is just where I can. My husband is home from work already. Um, so I can't do this out in the kitchen table because he's playing video games and I don't want to interrupt him when I can just film in the bedroom. The lighting's a little bit better in here anyway. So we work with what we have around here. Um, okay. So I did tell you guys that we are planning a family. So there's money saved in this, but we're not stuffing baby this week. We're not stuffing emergency health this week. Um, and we're not planning just general savings, or we're not stuffing general savings this week. Um, my credit card is also not getting stuffed. I took the money that was in here last time. Actually, there was no money in here last time. I took what I had stuffed for July um, and put it in the bank already. So that's not getting stuffed this week. Car, this is actually my Geico payment for um, my car insurance. And it's getting, I need my sheets. It's getting 19 and I did a 10, a 5, and 4 ones. So now my car payment, ha or my car insurance has 10, 20, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 38 dollars. This, um, I'm saving up to about $400 because, um, I'll have to make my payment at the end of November because I make six month payments on it. So we got a little while to go, but we have about half of a month's worth, uh, saved up here. Christmas is getting 25 this week. No, 45. It's getting 45. Um, I have several people that I like to buy Christmas gifts for, and it's just a lot easier to save for that and be prepared. Um, that way I get to be as active in my Christmas shopping as I want to be, and I don't have to stress out about it once Christmas time rolls around. That's also, um, a month after my car payment. That's, I have two nieces and both of their birthdays fall, um, between November and December. So it's a high stress money time regardless. So it's just nice to be prepared. So I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90 dollars in Christmas. So I can almost buy for two people now. <laughs> I'm budgeting about 50 dollars per person is what I'm trying to get to. And then if I get to that before Christmas time, then I'll just keep stuffing and that'll just be extra stuff. Gifts is not getting stuffed. I have taken out of here for um, two people's birthday. My mom and my dad had birthdays. Um, so I took out money from that, but this is already stuff for the rest of the year and we'll start this back up in January. Student loans is not getting stuffed. I did check and it does look like I am um, getting rolled into the new in student or what is it? The income driven repayment plan. They switched it. Um, so I think I am going to be auto enrolled in that. So it does look like I will have a set amount and it'll be, um, some, it'll be manageable, I think. So um, not stuffing that for the rest of the month. Pets, Molly is getting a 20 this week, which I might have to, on my paycheck, 
this Friday. Um, might have to stuff hers a little bit heftier because she's gonna need, um, she's gonna need dog food. We got her just like the cheaper, um, smaller bag of food because she had to get shots and had to go in for, um, to get her ears checked. Um, so that kind of depleted what I had, but she is also going to need a groom at the end of this month because she really needs a bath, but because she's had so many ear infections, we've not been able to give her one. So, um, I might have to stuff this a little bit more that way I can pay for her grooming and for her food. So this has 40 in it right now. Um, housing. So this is for if I want to buy like some decor or something like that at Target. That's what this is for. I really want to make my own cash envelopes. Um, one, these had a zipper and I hated the zipper so I took it off. But because it's a zipper, they stick together really bad and it's really difficult to take it apart. Um, and I don't like the stickers also. I would like to have like custom, like exactly what I'm paying, like housing. That's not what I actually call it. It's, I call it house and like um, car. I would prefer this to say Geico which I could just write like how I did on these, but I just, I don't like that look. So I want to make new ones. But anyway, housing has 50, 70, $80 now. And I'm not saving for anything in particular. I just haven't found anything that I want to buy yet. Um, fun money. We did just go out on a date because our one month anniversary was yesterday. We don't plan on um, celebrating like month by month. Uh, we just wanted to celebrate our first month of marriage. We won't like do like an actual anniversary celebration until our first year of marriage again, but we did go out to eat um, and got some drinks. So I took all the money out of here. So we're getting 30 back in here and I did a 20 and a 10. So now fun. This is a bucket. Um, just like housing is a bucket. Do you see what I'm talking about? It's so hard to open these. I need to make new ones but I didn't get I ordered pretty much all of the stuff for it I just cannot find matte laminating sheets anywhere so um this is a bucket just like housing is a bucket so fun is any activity that we want to go out and do um eating out all that kind of stuff comes out of fun so that is it for my binder now we're gonna stuff my wallet which right now I don't have actual envelopes for my wallet. I just have um, Chase envelopes in here and then the grocery envelope. So I did do my grocery shopping already um, and I was $20 under budget on that. So I am going to go ahead and stuff groceries with its last $20 that was in its budget. So I budget $120 per week. On groceries, I spent 100 so I still have $20 left over that I can spend um, in groceries. So, like, any little things, like, I forgot to get Molly her favorite snack, um, I would say it, but she's laying right here, and she'll go ridiculous if I say it. Um, so, I forgot to get her her favorite snack, so, like, I'll have to run to the store to get those. Um, and then just any other little thing that we want. And then I will either – I haven't decided if I want to roll over groceries so that next week has – more money or if I want to put this in the savings challenge or what I want to do. I haven't decided yet, um, but grocery has 20 now and this will go in my wallet. Then Dave treats is just anything that um, I want to spend on him throughout the week. So he uh, trades cards and sells cards um, online and likes tech stuff from like micro center. So if I want to take him there or I want to, you know, buy him a shirt or buy him a little something, then I can do that with this money. So this is not his spending money. He has his own spending money. This is money that I budget out of what I make and um, save it intentionally for him because gift giving is one of my love languages. So he still has 25 um, left over from last week. He did, we did go out. He bought some cards at Target and I paid for those. So or maybe not Target, maybe it was Walmart, I can't remember. But he is getting 20 this week. So now he has 45. And he knows exactly how much is in his envelope. So whenever he's like, hey, can we go here? I want to use my money. He can use as much of it as he wants to. Um, he knows how much is in here. So if he is ever like, hey, let's go somewhere, then we can do that. 
I always keep this on me though, just in case I see something when we're out. And then I just let him know like, hey, I spent $5 out of your envelope, so now you have this amount. Um, and then my personal spending, if I don't budget for myself to spend money on myself, then I won't. And um, it's part of my self-care um, plan that I have that I spend money on myself as well, which is really hard. It's actually something that I'm working on in therapy. Um, so this is like an intentional um, activity that I do. So I have $21 left over in my personal spending and I am getting 40 this week and I did 220. So now I have $61 for the week. I did really well. I really didn't spend too much on myself last week. I did take myself out to a really nice lunch at my favorite Mexican restaurant though. So there's that. Um, miscellaneous is getting nine miscellaneous doesn't have a folder it just goes in the center pocket and i know that that's miscellaneous money um miscellaneous is getting nine so five six seven eight nine dollars goes directly in there and then these go in here i do want to get an actual like like cash envelope wallet that has like the binder rings i just haven't found one that i like yet so we just make this work um and then the remaining 60 dollars um is what i put towards taxes so i only have to pull out tax money when i um work for my parents because um i'm technically like a freelancer through them so i have to pay my own taxes um my husband pays his own taxes through them as well so he pulls out a portion of his um weekly pay so any any week that i work for them because i work part-time i can work whenever i want to any week that i work for them i just have to take out like however much i get i just take out um right now i'm doing 20 percent i don't know if that's too much i don't know if that's too little if you're self-employed um let me know how much you take out what percentage you take out um for taxes because i've never had to do this um, so yeah, Texas is getting $60 this week because that is, uh, how much I, I worked for them this week. So this is not going in a folder. This is actually going, um, in our safe. So I just need to put that in the safe. And then, oh, I didn't put the grocery money. This other money. So this is money that I had to use my card for certain purchases last week. And, um, instead of putting this back in the bank because I had enough, um, to cover it for my bills and everything like that. This is extra money from last week, but it makes up for what I actually earned this week. So I don't want this to just like not have a home. Something that my husband and I talked about, um, we are looking to move. We are definitely moving um, at the end of November and we want to get a rental home. Um, we want a house, but we want to rent first. That way we kind of know what we're doing. We're not ready to buy yet. Um, and we are wanting to increase our rental amount. We want to get a nicer place. So we talked about um, budgeting for that like extra amount. So like, let's say right now my rent is $1,000 and I want to get a home that's $1,200 a month. Then I would start saving for that $200 extra dollars for the 12 months. So at the end of the year, that would be $2,400 extra dollars. So I would be saving $2,400 extra dollars. So um, that is where this money is going to start going. And so that, um, that savings is going to start being a sinking fund as well. I'm going to start putting a certain amount per check in to our um, new rent savings and then we'll just pull from there every single month so in that because I didn't have anywhere to put this um, that's gonna all go to here so I have 20 40 60 70 80 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 90 so I have $90 going in here and this is I think I want to say I we haven't found we honestly need to come up with a number we don't really have a number yet I think that I'm around I think I said like $3,600 or something like that just to be safe just to start us I could always increase that or lower it but um this will be the $3,600 savings challenge so I have $90 in there right now $3,600 feels like so far away but I know that we'll we'll get there eventually so 
yeah, that is my cash stuffing for this week. 